Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to you, depending on when you're finding the time to tune in. I welcome you today and thank you for joining me. You know, in the Bible, there's a story of how Jesus was at Peter's house and Peter's mother-in-law was sick with fever and Jesus healed her. Immediately, she got up and started serving Jesus and all who were there. That evening, people brought demon-possessed folks and sick folks, and it says that Jesus cast out the demons and healed them all. Now, we don't know how many in number was involved, just that there were demon-possessed people there and some sick people there, and that however many there were, Jesus delivered and healed them all. Now, when we study the Gospels, we learn that Jesus never turned away anyone who came to him for deliverance or healing. There is a continual demonstration of willingness on his part to meet the people at the point of their need according to their faith. Jesus had compassion on them and healed them all. Now, I've never met anyone who would say God was unable to heal or to deliver. Usually, they'll always say, "Uh, of course he can heal. He can do anything he wants to. He's God. So, believing God is able to do something is not something we typically wrestle with. The thing that creates a struggle at times is whether or not he's willing. In the incident where Jesus delivered and healed everyone that evening, which is recorded in Matthew 8, 14 through 17, Verse 17 gives us something we're thinking about and asking the Holy Spirit to illuminate our hearts about. See, at the cross, Jesus bore more than just our sins. I encourage you to read that passage carefully and consider it, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you from it. Remember, you are loved today and always by your faithful, gracious Heavenly Father. And by coming to His Son Jesus in faith to be forgiven and made alive, You became his child supernaturally, and he's for you, not against you. He can heal you just as easily as he forgave you and made you righteous. It's by the same means. It's a gift, and it works on the basis of faith. So I speak healing to you today in his marvelous name. I declare that he is not only able to heal you, he is willing. Go and have a blessed day today in his name and always, and may his grace and peace be with you. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.